Hey guys, welcome to TCT and the crazy explanation of YouTube. Today is Tuesday, so it's a makeup related video. I played again in my Natasha Denona Lila palette. I realized I haven't used her in a while because I renewed my love for the Inglot pigments. Uh, purchased the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, so I did a, some videos on that. I did some videos pairing. I am just trying to be clumsy, not doing things with two hands. <laughs> I've been enjoying pairing the cranberry palette with the camel palette and prior to those videos I did a bunch of looks with the safari palette so I'm like you know what let me go back to her and so I will show you what I did today and I will also show you what brushes I used for my eye look I used two four six eight brushes yeah and so I wrote it down so that way I can breeze through it and I look to see where the colors were so I can just keep going for above the crease area, this area here, because I have all this hooded, puffy real estate, I use this color here, which is Nude Mauve. And so I just brush that over. That's how I did that. This is the Sephora Pro Drawing Blending, number 42. Then I took, you guys remember these silver Sephora brushes? This is probably over 10 years old. This says crease and it is the number 10. No, they don't sell it anymore. I went into this shade here, which is per se, and I went straight in. I dabbed it straight in and I put that directly into the crease. And so that's what I used this brush for. Then I took Hourglass number three and I used, as you can see, I used magenta, <laughs> the first half of the lid. And then I took my other hourglass number three, as you can tell by the color. <laughs> and I went into amethyst and put that on the second half of the lid. Then I took my Fenty 220 Precision Brush and I took, I keep saying magenta, it's magnetic. This color is called magnetic, not magenta. And I put that on the first half of my lower lash line. Then I took my other Sephora 220. <laughs> And took amethyst and put that here on the second half of my lower lash line. And I took my Fenty brush in 230, which is blending, and I used Juno here as a brow bone highlight. Then I took my Real Techniques brush. This one says, I wish the font was not almost the same color as the brush. Insta Crease Brush. I use this also for Juno and because I don't want to get it in my eyes, it is a slanted brush. So for my inner corner, I usually place it up here and then wrap it around. I don't like when the inner corner color is just like a blob of color there. And so that's why I do it the way I do. I place it and I sweep it down. Like in that whole inner corner area. And then I take it and blend it into the lid color. That is it. And then I went back with um, the blending brush and I did just come over again and I blended that again. And because it took away some of the amethyst, I went back in and dabbed it and I pressed a little bit more in there because I remembered this color being more vibrant. And it's because of the additional blending I did with the crease color and above the crease color, which took some of that away. And so that is what's on my eyes today. I do have more mascara, eyeliner, and I did my brows and a full face and gloss. And so thank you guys for watching. You will see me with another face on Tuesday. Thanks. If you have this palette, let me know if you're still using it, if you're still loving it. I know she's coming out with palette after palette. The Glam palette just came out, which I'm not getting because I do not prefer cool tones on me. And I did return the Mini Glam palette. I liked the looks I did, but it just, it wasn't enough for me. I like color. I like stuff like this. <laughs> but let me know how you are enjoying, if you're still enjoying your Lila palette. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks, guys. I did two different eye looks based on eye looks that Kinky Sweat here on YouTube did and I will link her channel below 
and also below I will put what's where <laughs> this eye is mainly using amethyst which is this purple shade well this shade here this eye is featuring a whole lot of colors <laughs> so basically just a smoky neutral look and it does have dragon bite on the center of the lid um something that i tell it i do not like using my fingers um for shadows and so where she used her fingers i went in with an angled flat shader brush just just so i would be able to put more pressure and to get more of the color on my on my lids and so for the center of the lid where she used her finger i used this type of shader brush and i do have like two of these and for inner corner and outer corner where she used her finger i used a smaller shader brush because this does fit like right here really nicely in the corners and i have three of these and so that is what i did and again i'll list everything below so this is the one eye that's looking janky this color here i don't know like what went on but i keep trying to blend out this line like i am putting pressure and this line is not <laughs> blending out like i am going hard that line is not moving i don't know what's up with that i don't know if it was more eyeshadow primer in that spot but like dude like that that is not <laughs> that is not moving that is like so crazy so that's my technique that's not <laughs> any any reflection of her at all because her eyeshadow and her face always just look, looks flawless anyway and so this is the one eyeshadow look and this is the other eyeshadow look Let me know what you think. <laughs> Thanks, guys.